CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 4.1, Given a Scenario, Implement Best Practices Associated with Documentation and Support Systems Information Management. Types of Documents In IT, documentation is as vital as the technology itself, keeping everyone on the same page and making sure everything runs smoothly. There are many different types of documents, each serving a unique role in supporting operations, security, and compliance. Let's explore a few key types, starting with the Acceptable Use Policy, or AUP, for short. An AUP is essentially a set of rules that define how an organization's computer network, website, or other technology resources can be used. It defines what's allowed and what's not, helping prevent security breaches and maintaining a productive work environment. For example, an AUP might specify that users shouldn't mine cryptocurrency on work computers or log into a device with another user's credentials. It could also outline which websites are accessible from work devices or even set rules for using generative AI solutions responsibly. Every employee is generally required to agree to the AUP before gaining access to company resources, setting clear expectations and boundaries. Next up, we have the Network Topology Diagram. This is a visual representation of a network's devices, connections, and paths, showing the structure of an organization's network. It's like a map, but instead of roads and cities, it showcases routers, switches, servers, and other end devices, along with the connections between them. Network topology diagrams play a crucial role in troubleshooting, planning, and securing network infrastructure. When IT teams need to troubleshoot issues, a well-maintained network diagram helps them quickly identify where potential problems might lie. For example, if a specific department is experiencing connectivity issues, the topology diagram can reveal the path data packets take from the affected devices to the network's core, making it easier to pinpoint where things might be going wrong. For that reason, any time the network changes, like adding a new switch, moving a server, or removing an old device, those changes should be promptly updated in the network topology diagram. Regulatory compliance requirements also play a vital role in ensuring an organization adheres to various legal and industry standards. These requirements are particularly important in industries that handle sensitive information, such as healthcare, finance, and government. Compliance documents outline the practices, protocols, and standards necessary to meet local, federal or international laws and regulations. By adhering to these requirements, organizations not only protect themselves from potential legal penalties, but also build trust with clients and users. Moving on, we come to Standard Operating Procedures. Abbreviated as SOP, Standard Operating Procedures provide a set of step-by-step -step instructions for performing routine activities. Think of them as detailed, how-to guides, designed to make complex or repetitive tasks straightforward and accessible to all team members, regardless of experience. SOPs play a key role in maintaining quality and minimizing errors by establishing a standard approach for each task. For example, an SOP for a custom software installation might include each step needed to install, configure, and test the software, complete with screenshots, commands, and troubleshooting tips. This way, even if an IT technician encounters an unexpected issue, the SOP can guide them back on track. With every detail outlined, SOPs ensure that each installation follows the same process, maintaining consistency across multiple devices and reducing the chance of configuration errors that could lead to system instability or security vulnerabilities. If an error is committed, or worse, you experience a security breach, technical failure, or other negative event, having a well-documented incident report can be a lifesaver. Incident reports capture the critical details of any unexpected events that impact a system, providing a structured way to analyze and learn from mistakes. By documenting each incident thoroughly, organizations can gain insights into their vulnerabilities and strengthen their defenses, making future occurrences less likely. An incident report typically includes a clear account of what happened, such as the date and time of the occurrence, the affected systems, and a description of the incident. It also covers how the issue was identified, the steps taken to resolve it, and any immediate or long-term fixes applied. This detailed information provides valuable context, helping teams to understand the sequence of events and identify contributing factors. 
In addition to these foundational documents, we have the new user setup checklist and the end user termination checklist, two critical tools that streamline the onboarding and offboarding process. The new user setup checklist helps ensure that each new employee is set up efficiently and securely from day one. This checklist typically includes setting up user accounts, configuring permissions, providing necessary software, and verifying access to relevant systems. By following a standardized onboarding process, IT teams can minimize delays, making sure new hires have the resources they need, right from the start. On the other end, the end user termination checklist is just as essential for offboarding. When an employee leaves the organization, it's vital to promptly revoke access to systems and accounts to protect sensitive data. The termination checklist ensures that all access points, such as email, VPN, and any specialized applications are disabled. It may also cover steps like retrieving company-issued devices and deactivating licenses. By maintaining these checklists as part of the onboarding and offboarding processes, organizations reduce errors, improve security, and ensure compliance with policies, keeping the digital environment well organized and protected. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.